Hello, today I'm going to talk about doubt and um, having worries about the future. This is a natural thing uh, to have, is uh, thinking about what can go wrong. <laughs> and basically worry, isn't it? That's, that's what we have. Um, I'm thinking about this because I just I saw an email. Uh, I read about investments and uh, how to how to save money for the future, and a lot of that is talking about predicting the future. Of course, we cannot; nobody can predict the future. Um, but uh, for a long time, you have uh, in the stock market, people are usually either very very uh, optimistic about the future or very very pessimistic. Right, optimistic thinking it will be better, pessimistic thinking it will be worse. But very rarely are people uh, even uh, keeping an even balance. It's either wonderful or terrible. Anyway, as I record this video, the feeling now is terrible. Oh, the the future looks very bad. Um, for example, I've got here: uh, Russia is going to war with the Ukraine. The stock market is down. Inflation is rising. What else? Coronavirus is still a problem. And of course, there's always global warming. So there's always something to worry about. What should we do when we have so many things to worry about? Here's some advice. <laughs> three, three points. Number one, admit that you don't know. Um, I could tell you what I think about Russia and Ukraine. I could tell you about what I think about uh, global warming. But I don't really know. <laughs> I don't have enough information to offer a very uh, good opinion one way or the other, I, you know. So the, I admit, I don't know. I don't know how to solve any of these problems. So then number two, shut up. <laughs> so don't talk about these problems a lot if you don't know the answer. Don't go on Twitter and say, oh my goodness, Russia is in such a terrible country. They're invading Ukraine and, you know, and inflation. And blah, blah. Yeah, because what's the point? I don't know. Uh, and then the third part is read more. If you don't know what's happening, then perhaps you should learn. So basically reading is the best way to learn difficult things. <laughs> so read more, listen more. You know, uh, it's basic advice, isn't it? If you don't know, stop talking, start listening. Or in this case, read. Reading and listening is the solution. So learn more. So if you have lots of doubts, admit you don't know, be quiet, read more. Uh, and I've written here, then at least you're not adding to the climate of fear and you are quietly learning more. So don't add to the fire. Don't add, oh no, the Russians are terrible. Blah, 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 blah. What's the point? Instead, uh, learn. And then maybe you can deal with it. And maybe one, one day, if you read more and learn more, you actually will know more. And then, then you don't have so much doubt. Uh, okay, I've got three questions here. Uh, so this is about doubt and problems, kind of the same thing. What, oh, sorry, problems, worry. What in the world are you worried about now? What things are in the news or in your life that you're very worried about? Number two, how do you deal with worry? It's a natural part of life that we worry about something. Do you have a good tip, any, any uh, good ideas of how to not be so worried? Number three, is there anything good about, about doubt and worrying? What's the point? Why do humans always worry so much? Why do we have doubts? Is it somehow useful? Maybe we should be worried about the future, right? What do you think? <laughs> I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, okay, those are the three, uh, three questions. So um, have a go. And uh, we'll have a chat about the problems of the world and how we deal with it. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, where's the off button? Oh, I'm so worried I can't turn it off. Yes, I can. Okay, see you soon.